So you want to unlock Mercenary in the quickest possible way. Well, thankfully you're watching this video, so you're going to get what you want. To unlock the Mercenary in Risk of Rain 2, you have to complete the challenge True Respite. True Respite is completed upon obliterating yourself at the obelisk. Ooh. Now, for those of you who have no idea what the obelisk is, it's the thing at the end of stage 7 where there is a celestial portal. You go through that portal and you have to obliterate yourself at this giant obelisk after you complete a parkour session. I'm not sure what that looks like. Well, there will probably be a clip here where when, when I'm talking that will show you what this looks like. But the gist of it is you have to get to stage 7. And upon completing the teleporter event at stage 7, don't go through the teleporter. There will be a celestial portal that spawns. It will pop up in your chat to remind you. Don't go through the teleporter. Go through the celestial portal. It's kind of like a very light green, light blue, green blue. I don't know the color. But, teal? But anyway, go through that portal. Now, once you go through the portal, you have to complete the parkour all the way down. There's going to be an obelisk. And then there's going to be a teleporter. Hit yourself on that obelisk. It's going to say, are you sure? And you're going to want to click, yes, I am sure. Stop telling me what to do, game. And you will obliterate yourself at said obelisk. Keep in mind that if you do obliterate yourself at the obelisk, this ends your run completely. You, you know, don't get to play anymore. That being said, the first time you do it, you unlock the mercenary, which is the whole goal of this video. And you get five lunar coins every other time you do it. So you get five lunar coins when you unlock the mercenary for the first time. And then you get five for every time afterwards. But this is the main way of farming lunar coins on Risk of Rain 2. It's part of a video I did, so uh, free plug. And also, if you've never unlocked the Artificer before, this is the main way you should be legitimately collecting lunar coins. You do this two times and you'll have enough for unlocking the Artificer. So this kind of goes hand in hand together. Unlock the Mercenary first, then get the Artificer. That's the stage of how you do this. Also, what you also need to know is that there is a new mechanic in the game that's been out for a couple months now, but some of you might know. Beads of Fealty. Beads of Fealty, once you collect these, they're a lunar item then obliterating yourself at the obelisk won't immediately kill you. Instead, you'll be going up against a Twisted Scavenger that will kill you regardless. If you somehow manage to kill this Twisted Scavenger, then it will actually count as you ending the game. You just get more lunar coins. I think you get 10 lunar coins at the end, but it counts as you obliterating yourself at the obelisk. So if you have beads of fealty, you're actually making it a little bit more difficult to unlock the mercenary for yourself. You have to fight this epic final boss battle. But if you do kill the Twisted Scavenger and you have never obliterated yourself with the Obelisk, it still counts as you unlocking the Mercenary. True respite. Yeah. Anyway, that was a lot of rambling for one video, so, you know, you're welcome. Like, comment, do your thing, etc., etc. See ya.